my wife, Liza, is here mm -hmm. in studio. Little applause, please. You sound, like little, you sound like little church mice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Liza's here because she's been working on a, a project that I love this project. And people say, well, you're biased. But I'm be, make it clear, I am not a fan of my wife's. Oh, okay. Yeah. We just well, we, we are. Do, we do, I know. Yeah. You get, everyone We're else is. Huge, everyone I know, fans. as Sona loves to say, you're yeah. only the only... What your favorite? My favorite thing about you is Liza. Yes, there you go. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, um, and that's the sentiment that I get from most people. Is they say, um, "You're annoying, but we love your wife." And I'm like, okay, um, and I fills you with rage. Fills me with rage because it's my parents that are saying it. <laughs> um, but uh, but I am thrilled because uh, Liza. Welcome, first of all, to our little studio. Thanks. Yeah. Nice to be here. <laughs> nice to have you. Not at all weird. <laughs> yeah, not at all. <laughs> I just love that we're not, we can't shout at each other mm. uh, because, you know, there's, there's company here. Give us a minute. <laughs> yeah, give us, <laughs> give us eight seconds. Um, so, I think we should leave. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, you, um, Liza, you're here today because you've been working on something that I really love, and I'm excited about it, and very proud, as your goofy partner in life, that you have made this really cool podcast that we're going to share with people called Significant Others. That's right. Yep. I'm so afraid to make a mistake. Oh, Why? You got this, buddy. What's that? You got this. Yeah. Well, because, you know, she, later on I might hear about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Not Likewise, that, yeah, exactly. We're both yeah. on absolute yeah best hooks behavior. Right now. Yeah, I know. Um, this is so fun. As, as, really, as promised. Use your I statements. Always say I feel. That's Don't right. accuse anybody of anything. Right. Hug a pillow if you need to. There's yeah. water. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I think that uh, you've made this very cool nonfiction podcast. My favorite podcasts often are that I listen to. Um, because I don't listen to this one. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fan of mine, but I love any podcast where I can learn something, uh, whether it's history or literature, and you came up with a very cool idea, which I will throw to you so you can explain what Significant Others is all about. Basically is about sort of um, looking at people who are just outside the spotlight of history, essentially. So um, I've always been really interested uh, even before I was married to uh, Conan, about what it was like for people who were married to, you know, the people we read about in history books. So what was it really like to date and be married to uh, President Lincoln, for example? Um, right. That's sort of the genesis of it. And as I started collecting more and more of them and asking people, is this anything that anyone else would be interested in besides me? Conan was one of the first people to say, absolutely, I would absolutely listen to that, which was, I, I mean, if you hadn't done that, I don't know if I would have, you know, pursued any of this. So either thank you or it's your fault. <laughs> it's my fault. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's my fault. We'll see. Yeah, it's your fault. Um, you cover all these great people uh, and, and things that I didn't know because I knew about, obviously, I think I knew somewhat about Gandhi. I certainly knew about Lincoln. Um, I thought I knew about Virginia Woolf, and then you find out about these other people in mm -hmm. their lives that were pivotal, not always for good, mm -hmm. which is fascinating. Mm -hmm. This is not the story every time of someone uh, who is um, saving the day in any way, a secret hero. It's both. Mm -hmm. they, they help and they don't help. And they influence the whole game as everyone does. Mm -hmm. no, no one is an island. So I, I've been listening to them. I think I've listened to all of them except... I think there are a couple that I haven't burdened you with, but um, no, you've been my first uh, reader of the scripts often and first listener to the scratch tracks and um, you're a very good editor. I will oh, say that. That's nice. I know. Yeah. I know this is like so, but you guys are like, this is all this so is civilized. So nice. no. Let's get... I want to know about the bad stuff. <laughs> okay. Is there murder? Oh, in the in the podcast? Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant in our lives. Oh, is there murder I don't in your life? I don't help out a lot. <laughs> I feel very entitled when it comes to like cleaning up the kitchen. Oh, okay. I've gotten a little better. You're you're much better. Much better than I used to be. But it is. I used a, to say, "Well, I'm done, and now let others handle things." Was my declaration at the end of every meal. Now the now the dishes end up near the dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> Still not they're, in it. They're Close. moving closer. Still not in it, but so near close. it. They're moving closer. Okay. They're moving so much closer. Mm -hmm. Progress. You talk about the Tolstoys, Gandhi, uh, you, Mary Lincoln, 
uh, Nabokov's wife Vera, Maya Angelou, and James Baldwin, who I didn't even realize had this incredible that connection. connection. Mm-hmm. Molly Day Thatcher and Ilya Kazan, Virginia Woolf, Dr. Spock. I mean, Gandhi mm. is someone who I, I mean, I just, I don't even think of Gandhi as being in a relationship because he's been, he's, he's uh, become such this holy, revered figure that he's almost, you know, um, beyond that, godlike. And the Gandhi one was the one of the, uh, one of the only ones that I didn't have in my head before we started, it was actually a suggestion of Nick Liao, who's a Team Coco person. Mm-hmm. And I'm so grateful for that suggestion because, like you, <laughs> I was like, he had a wife. <laughs> um, there's a national holiday named for her in India, oh. um, which my friend who voices uh, Kasturba and then also talks to me afterwards about it, um, you know, grew up knowing basically that was all she knew. So that's interesting too, that like you can even be from the culture and know of mm-hmm. the person and still not know anything more. And she was massively important in his life. So there's a lot of, uh, my favorite thing to, it, like yours is that it's um, not all good or all bad, that these are really complicated people and complicated relationships. And in this era of sort of reexamining historical heroes, um, I sort of love that when the reexamination can be incredibly complex and nuanced mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that it's not just, hey, guess what? This guy was secretly an asshole. Yeah. Although, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> a lot of them, a lot of them well, were and it wasn't so I'm secret. I'm publicly an asshole. <laughs> right, exactly. And I think that's where I've got everyone fooled. Right. Uh, I, I, you mentioned that you had someone, a, a friend voice. You, mm-hmm. You've got a lot of people yes. uh, voicing things. Uh, Nick Offerman is Leo Tolstoy, Megan Mullally, <laughs> Sophia Tolstoy, Tim Oliphant. Uh, Rita Wilson, Jamila Jamil, Darcy Carden, Lisa Kudrow, Paul F. Tompkins. I mean, it's... Uh, we were very lucky. Yeah. I called in every possible chit that I could. I don't think anyone's ever going to take our call again. So, <laughs> again, <laughs> in- you're including, welcome. Including Gorley. In- yeah, well, yes, including Matt Gorley. That's right. Oh, that's right. That's Gorley, right. What, what part did you play? I play a reporter in the Lincoln episode. Mm-hmm. Isn't that right? Yes. When you're describing in great detail Mary Lincoln's... Uh, the shape of her head. Yeah, oh. it's a really, it's weird, really right? misogynistic sort of slam of Lincoln or Mary Lincoln. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And we naturally thought of you. Yeah, <laughs> you were perfect. I, get I love that they brought you in. <laughs> Liza brought you in to be the creep. Yeah, in the Lincoln episode. Yeah, I do play a lot of creeps. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. I'll edit that out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what was the? Uh, was there one thing that you learned that just really shocked you? Other than that Gandhi had a wife. <laughs> yeah, that, well, that, was, that was surprise number one. I mean, there are a lot of really fascinating moments. I, I don't really want to spoil anything. Yep, yep. Um, but, and, and one of the... And you didn't know Lincoln was shot. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Guys, I really learned a so, lot. Did you know he went to a theater? It's so crazy. Hey, spoiler, man. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, yeah, I don't want to. I'm, I mean, not, everything was yeah. you know surprising at a certain point. Yep. I think the Doctor Spock episode might be the most surprising to me. A lot of your fans might not even know who he was I'm because he's so, so excited young. about that because I was raised on that book. Me too. Yeah, yeah, and it's a real generational divide. Like I bet you could you right. know find the exact number above and under yeah. where people do or don't know about him but yeah. um it was a big I... oh Ch- dr spock was the uh child, child care guru care guru yeah if, not the vulcan oh yeah. you not know what? That we spock. have his book yeah and it was um i think in the he was 50s beloved. 60s it was, the book 70s. came out in 1946 yeah. same year my mother was born wow. and it revolutionized there's a great quote um by a guy for, who wrote a, a profile in Esquire in like 86 when Spock died in 98. So it was like toward the end of his life, but not all the way at the end. And he was like, this this had such a profound influence in such a quiet way because it was these articles that he was writing in right. women's magazines that were lying around, you know, hair salons. Mm-hmm. And n- nothing else has affected so quickly and so vastly how the world regards babies and handles them and raises kids and you know so there's all this stuff about like he created the hippies he was the responsible for the me generation there's been a lot of backlash the feminists hated him for a while and then he changed some stuff and got back in their good graces and meanwhile you know his own family was 
kind of a disaster. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, well, whenever I someone that. writes a, mm-hmm. here's how to parent yeah. a child, it's always... <laughs> You're asking for trouble. Yeah, within 10 minutes. And he those actually... Those kids start killing people. And he wasn't <laughs> like a... He wasn't a big, um, like he didn't have the kind of ego that a lot of experts have. He was very ready to revise what he had written and to collaborate, and he didn't want to own it and be right all the time. But then there's this just point where he couldn't take his own advice. Oh, you know, yeah. like there's just, you can't fix what gets put in the hard drive, kind oh, of. So anyway, it's it that one to me is really fascinating. Who's playing Dr. Spock? Un- cast oh as of now. Wow. So you know, just to be intentionally confusing. Can't uh, do Leonard anymore. <laughs> well, he's passed on. <laughs> it was just funny God. to me if we got Zachary Quinto who plays Spock now That's a great idea. and got and him to the, play Dr. Dr. Spock but, but then do a, a lot of disclaimers up front. Zachary Quinto will be playing Dr. Spock. It's not that dark. We know he plays him just un- I love unnecessarily confusion. I'm going to ruin your podcast. <laughs> no, and so his his son, one of his sons, said that when Doctor Spock from Star Trek became a thing, he was so relieved because suddenly there was another. When people would see his last name and they would say, "Are you related to Doctor Spock?" That you know, and he would, he was just like, oh, God, I don't want to, because he's then the living test of his dad's you know work. Oh, wow. And so when oh. they would say, "Are you related to?" Yeah. The that's Vulcan, why I can. He'll be like, yes, exactly. That's who I'm related to. So that's, that's why I root for Conan Gray. You know, the pop true. star. I just want him as the, do our children. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm tired of being yeah. that Conan. So it's, let's root. So it's root a, for Conan Gray. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, because I can't cool. take the burden anymore. It's yeah. Too much. Yeah. I feel um, that same way about the Matt Gorley that's a contractor in Northern California. You know, I can't get mm-hmm. uh, out of his shadow. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's just a really good contractor. <laughs> he's play, he does, he's going to be playing Dr. Spock. Yeah. Yeah. And that other Tolene <laughs> Sonam obsession, yeah, too. Yeah, he's yeah. great. Uh, okay, let me make sure I get the word out. Significant Others is available right now. Yeah. It's, uh, it's already out. A new episode of Significant Others drops every Wednesday with bonus episodes the following day. So be sure to subscribe wherever you get your podcast.